Happening today, anti-Israeli students are planning to join pro-Palestinians for mass walkouts at college campuses across the United States of America. This comes as our next guest experienced the horrors of Hamas firsthand and are lobbying lawmakers to help rescue more hostages. And joining us right now, we have a assembled a panel here on the roof of our bureau, and some of them are actually missing family members who um, are being held hostage right now, uh, we believe, by Hamas. But, uh, Mayo, let's start by talking a little bit about these college protests. They're going to be uh, walkouts starting in an hour and 12 minutes, uh, certain campuses across the country, in support of the other side. How does that make you feel? Well, it breaks my heart because there is, it's not a political issue. You can be either pro or against Israel, either pro or against Palestine. But one thing has to be clear. People that take hostages, people that burn babies alive and put axes in their heads cannot be uh, paraded for, cannot be saluted for. This is 2023. How can people uh, justify and be thrilled and, and rip signs of kidnapped and, and right. say that it's all about Palestinian being oppressed? This is not a political issue. This is a terror organization that beheads people, that burns them, and they should be condemned. And for me, this is America. I, I'm an American citizen. How can, how can people just look away and, and justify the fact that my friends are, are captive, their family members are captive? This is not a situation to be putting political opinions. Innocent people are taking into Gaza, and every day that I am here, they are over there, and they need to be back in their homes. People cannot salute and parade this side because right now this is not about two-sided war. This is about condemning a terror organization. And this should be out there, loud and clear. And my, you saw it with your own two eyes because you were at that mes music festival. And, and you made it out by the grace of God to tell your story. And you're all going to be up on Capitol Hill today uh, to tell your story once again to a number of uh, U.S. senators and, and whatnot. Gabe, you put this uh, group together. You're based down in Florida. Uh, once upon a time, you were the mayor down in Bar Harbor, uh, Bell Harbor. Um, the, when, when you look at these anti-Israeli protests going on on college campuses, you, you got to feel for the students. Like, Maya just graduated not long ago. If you're a Jewish student where your professor has an anti-Israeli view, you feel pretty alone in that classroom. Let me be clear. There's, these are not anti-Israel protests. These are not anti-Israel positions. This is anti-Semitism clear and pure anti-Semitism. Uh, our universities in the United States today, especially in the Ivies, are not safe for the Jewish students. Uh, we're hearing it from professors that are making speeches. We saw it at Columbia University last week from a business school professor saying, we can't keep our Jewish students safe on this campus. This is happening all over the country, from UC Berkeley to all the Ivy League institutions and all over. This is really the result of the dehumanization of Jewish people, of the Jewish people all over the world. It's not about Israel, it's about anti-Semitism. And, and you're all here to tell the American public about what's going on. And Mark, you've last, lost half your family. Your sister, her husband, and three kids were kidnapped. You, you are going here to Capitol Hill today to plead for their lives, to, to get something from them, but what can they do? I will tell you just this. My family, they live there near Gaza because they believe in coexistence, they believe in peace. We believe in peace. And we are pro-Palestinians more than Hamas, so for sure, and more than the protesters that think that they protest for the Palestinians. In reality, they protest against the Palestinians because they help the Hamas and their supporters to keep this cycle which hurts and harms the Palestinians for many, many years. And we want to see Palestinians thrive and, and prosper and live in safety, keeping our families, our children and, and uh, women and, and adults in captivity there will not make any progress for Palestinians. They just hold them back and those protesters just support it. They think that they help something, they just keep, and I think this is going on for many, many decades. I'm uh, old enough to, to hear that and yeah. to see that. And, and Adele, you were in a safe room um, luckily, they could not get in. You could hear them speak, be, speaking Arabic on the other side of the wall, and, you know, a number of people in your kibbutz were murdered 
in cold blood. And, and you're here to tell America what about those people? Because there are some people who say it never happened. You know, I, I'm American born. I was an educator for four decades. And I appreciate the education system in America. And I expect the American students to be intelligent enough to listen to the truth and not to be led by propaganda, by populistic propaganda, because the people in my community who were captured and murdered, they were grandmothers, they were children, they were this is not a war. These are not soldiers. This is a war crime against civilians. And we need our American students and American people to be on the right side of history on this. Yeah. And Netta, um, your parents were kidnapped by Hamas. Yes. They, they are somewhere. You're a student. You were, st you were staying in a dorm, essentially. And you were next door, and they took your parents. So for you, when you hear about the protests and everything else going on in this country, you know, on, on this show, we proudly stand with Israel uh, on this, uh, against the ha Hamas terrorists. What would you like to tell the people about what happened to your family? I want to tell you that I don't blame them for not believing it. I don't entirely believe it myself. But all of this, it happened, and I've... It just happened. And either you acknowledge that or that you don't judge us. And I don't claim to understand what twisted mind think that it's somehow justified, because they slaughtered and kidnapped innocent people. This is an act that no human being can do. They're your parents. And I want them back so bad. I just want my parents back. We all want him back. Yeah. Hamas says they're keep they're holding 222 people. These aren't these aren't numbers. Each person is kidnapped is a life, and is a family, and is a story, and is someone who loves music and certain foods and has kids that they love, and they're not just numbers. They're, they're not just for no reason at all. Can I tell you about my friend, who's an American citizen? Very quickly. Who was out walking, sunrise walk with her also American citizen husband. The most wonderful, kind-hearted woman. She was a teacher. She worked with children with special needs. Judy Weinstein Hagi. And she's gone. She's they gone. They just took her. We They're have gone. no idea. And you hope that they were kidnapped? I don't because then know. they, because then they would be alive. Because there's a possible, there's been no proof of life for any of them. I don't know if it's better if they were kidnapped because I don't know what they're doing to them there. Uh, that's so true. The, the, the torment and the torture that they're doing to them there. I don't know. I don't know what's best. Well, thank you all for sharing your stories. They're gonna, you're all gonna come back in an hour with more stories about what happened that day.